should be able to, as so long as he knows Bayonetta's DI, um, he should be able to handle Bayonetta's aerial combos as well. Bayonetta, Trebi's been labbing with Bayo and just been practicing with Bayo. It's either Bayo or Palu for him. Uh, so we'll see how this turns out. He's doing pretty good trying to get, uh, gets a good amount of setups, especially with the, uh, uh, afterburner kick, like, back air setups. I mean, uh, at kill percentages, it works. But, uh, yeah, we'll see, it, uh, how it works out here. Trevi keeping the aerial game on him right now. 52%, and, yeah, 71 tacked up now. He was holding his own so far. He's gotta be careful. With, okay, he just retreated with those, uh, shoe pistols. Uh, but let's see. Bears has to get more... Uh, he's got to be more careful with how he gets those punish setups after uh, Bayo's done coming in uh, after like the slide kick or something like that. I mean, he is throwing out attacks. It's just that some of them. Oh, he had a grab up just like that. He had a grab opportunity right there. Could attack on a lot of damage, and uh, he went for a shield. Electro shock just dodges. Goes for a third one. All right. If at first you don't succeed, try again. Then try again. But again, that back air coming through, forcing him off stage. Uh, Dark Pit has a pretty good uh, recovery, especially with those three jumps. And this retreat, it's very... Oh, just... Okay, and the pressure on the shield, Trevi's got to be very careful. Especially with a lot of aerial attacks, the falling aerial. But a back air will be able to send out bears on his first stock. Uh, and the shield is probably back up by now, so... He's got to be very careful dashing in. Good air dodge, break up that uh, aerial combo. Gets this, uh, looking for the second jab set up, but, uh, good, uh, falling option from Bears there to get out of it again. He seems pretty, uh, pretty wise to, uh, a lot of, uh, Bayonetta's, uh, aerial setups. So at least props to him for that. Um, but like I said before, he's thrown out a lot of attacks. I mean, like, the, his neutral is fairly good, but there are, I'm noticing a lot a, of, uh, punish opportunities that he's just missing. And again, he's got to be really careful with that uh, side B as well. Because, I mean, it does have iframes on startup, I believe. But it leaves him super vulnerable uh, with that slow down slide afterward. Should be doing a pretty good job just keeping him out. Especially when that platform 2 has to retreat back onto the other side of the stage. Gets a grab here and another edge guard set up. Just used all his jumps as well, but he gets them back because of the grab. Good spot dodge! Great air dodge again, and the neutral break that up, but combo set up, especially at high, yeah, that high uh, percentage. Uh, that's the one thing with Bayo uh, from that last patch. She essentially just has to work for those setups now, and the way she works for them is just gets uh, high percentage on uh, your opponent. Because if you have high percentages, they stay up in the air longer. Uh, they drift a little bit farther, but Bayo definitely has the reach, especially with that air, uh, that afterburner kick. And we see that Bears is swapping to Greninja. So the speed is definitely going to be a key factor here. Um, I, I'd say he has better smash attacks. Uh, aerial game maybe a little bit weaker. But his ground game is going to benefit a lot more. And Bayonetta is, uh, gets a lot of her setups off that slide kick. And uh, just like we said before, like as soon as you see that slide kick, just be ready for that... Uh, Corkscrew up top, and, uh, yeah, but Bear is swapping for that, uh, grounded option here, so we'll see how it pays off on him, but Trebi is just fully aware of his approaches right now. Trebi, Bear is trying to find some purchase, but he's, uh, Trebi's sitting at 5%, alright, get, get a little bit of combo here, trying to find for a third with that back air, not gonna get it. Uses the bat within to escape that one that time. And another setup. Great uh, vanish. And he expended all his jumps and didn't get the up in time. And Trebi laughs it off. But that is a huge stock loss. Uh, and uh, Bears is definitely right back in it. as uh, Even at this 105%. Uh, he'll have safe recovery because uh, it's deceptively really well, his recovery. See, he even made it from that far down and out. Uh, but he's got to play... Very carefully, because Trebi can, he's, uh, he's getting in close game is really good. Like, it's comparable to my problem getting in with Vash's Marth right now, but, uh, yeah, he should throw those Shoryukens out a lot more. Oh, uh, the War Shoryukens. Gets the down throw. Look 
looking for a neutral setup. It was a good option, but uh, Trebi was uh, ready and waiting for it. And another interesting thing is, uh, I'm sure like a lot of top people play it, but if you're not aware of it, um, if you hit Bayonetta's smash attacks, they will lose their uh, their hitbox. So if you come into contact with them, you can rush up right up to them. Great stiletto uh, snipe, I guess. Stiletto snipe, whatever. Uh, from uh, Trebi, getting that edge guard potential and does take out on bears, but he is sitting at 61%. Um, I'm not too well aware of Greninja's kill setups. I'm sure his up air is potentially one. But uh, smash attacks as well, but he's got to definitely work for that, especially with the movement of uh, Trebi right now. And Trebi has just brought it right back in. He's even lapping him in percentages, not being phased by that uh, accidental kill. And the read on that get up, up smash, and that will take him out. And that will be a 2-0 for Trebi against Bears. Uh, I mean... Bears did a fantastic job holding on. He uh, uh, he did a great job uh, predicting, you know, that Bayonetta wasn't more of a grounded character. So that swap did pay off for him, but uh, just the movement of uh, of Trebi uh, just really, really paid off for him. Uh, he was able to keep up with uh, Greninja's movements and uh, 